In this chapter, we will complete the steps of your iDirect satellite router installation. Please follow these instructions. Turn on the iDirect satellite router and wait for the status LED to turn off and for the RX and net LED to turn on. Confirmation of this will mean that the satellite router has fully booted up. Connect a console cable RJ45 to DB9 from the console port of the satellite router to the DB9 PC port COM1 of your computer. Identify the satellite router's IP address by using the PuTTY application. Make sure to use either version 0.6 or above. You can also use the Hyperterminal application to identify the satellite router's IP address. To identify the satellite router's IP address using the PuTTY application, please follow these instructions. Open the PuTTY application. Choose the serial connection and click Open. After gaining access to the satellite router, enter the login details as follows. iDirect Login Root Password iDirect Make sure to use a capital D and then press enter. Type the command if config. On the second line of the IXP card, you will see INET ADDR, which is the LAN IP address of the iDirect satellite router, and MASK, which is the subnet mask of your LAN. To identify the satellite router's IP address using the Hyperterminal application, please follow these instructions. Open the Hyperterminal application. In the Connection Description window, type in a name of your choice and click OK. In the Connect To window, Select COM1, which is the port that is connected to the satellite router. In the COM1 Properties window, choose Restore Defaults. Once you have gained access to the satellite router, enter the login details as follows. iDirect Login Root Password iDirect Make sure to capitalize the letter D. Type the command if config. On the second line of the IXP card, you will see INET ADDR, which is the LAN IP address of the iDirect satellite router, and MASK, which is the subnet mask of your LAN. To configure your PC as a host on the satellite router LAN, you will need to identify your default gateway and subnet mask by following these instructions. Connect the Ethernet cable RJ45 from the LAN port of the satellite router to the PC port LAN of your computer. Navigate to the local area connection properties. In the General tab, navigate to Internet Protocol and click Properties. Check the box Use the following IP address. Note the satellite router's IP address appearing after INET ADDR. In the IP address field, type in the same IP address as the satellite router's, but change the last digit to one value higher than is stated. This will be the IP address of your computer. Use exactly the same details from the mask in the hyperterminal window to fill in the subnet mask in the Internet Protocol Properties window. Enter the default gateway IP address, which is identical to the satellite router's IP address. 
Click OK in the Internet Protocol Properties window and then click Close in the Local Area Connection Properties window. This will apply the changes. Confirm that the versions of the iSight application and the satellite router correspond to the SkyVision option file you received. Please check your version of iSight by moving your cursor over the iSight file icon. Cross-reference the version number with your SkyVision option file. They should be the same. Please check the version of your satellite router by following these instructions. Open a Telnet session in the Hyperterminal application by typing the command Telnet0. Enter the username and password as follows. Username admin. Password uppercase P at 55 lowercase w 0 lowercase rd exclamation mark. Once you have logged in to the Telnet session, type the command version. Your satellite router version will appear on the second line next to code version. Cross-reference the satellite router version with the SkyVision option file. They should be the same. To access the appropriate version of iSight application or satellite router image, you will need to download the remote package which contains the correct version of the iSight application and image of the satellite router from the following link ftp colon slash slash cloud dot sky hyphen vision dot net slash pub slash idirect with a capital D slash software. Make sure to capitalize the D in idirect. At this point, you will have to re-identify the satellite router's IP address and again configure your PC as a host on your satellite router LAN before opening the iSight application. Before you log into the satellite router, make sure you have disabled your firewall, then follow these instructions. Open the iSight application. Right-click TDMA Remote and select Login. Enter the password uppercase P at 55 lowercase w 0 lowercase rd exclamation mark. Choose Login as Admin and click OK.